What's the best way to respond to a client who wants to negotiate my commission? You guys all remember when the market was crazy hot and you, you needed to put a sign up and you got 10 offers and then the, the help you sales of real estate came in and, and did a discount? Guys, we had to deal with commission objections then. The same thing is now, right? The market's not the crazy hot like it was back then where you got 35 offers, but technology has happened, right? That, that, that's what's happened now. And so we're getting more objections of really what it is. I think it's all about value. If you look at a stat, and I, we'll have to pull it up, I think it says that the, the, if you use an actual licensed professional, you're, you're, the, you're gonna get 14% more in your home. And I'll, I'll pull up the exact stat because I'm going off of memory. Um, and if you think about that, that should be a true, true part of your listing presentation of why you should use a realtor and, and why you should use Tyler or you, right? The realtor on negotiations. And when they're trying to give you objections on, but I want you to lower your commission price. And you know, this other realtor will do it for that. Some agents will cut their commission. I would tell the seller that, and they should. Like they should actually cut their commission. You're getting top-notch service here. If, if you, this negotiating that we're seeing right here, that you're seeing how well I negotiated, I want you to believe this seller. If, if I'm willing to give up my own money, my own cash, my commission this fast, I promise you, I'd give yours up even more, fa even faster. Like you guys have to use those technology, th those tactics when you're actually talking to the sellers and and be confident with it. Like, yeah, this realtor is that fast to give up their commission. I would run if I was you, seller. I'd run. Like they're giving up their own money that fast. When a deal comes on the table, you're not going to get someone who's going to fight harder for the top line number here. You're not going to get someone who fights for you. And so I think that's what you guys have to, to start using. And and I'll post a couple different negotiation strategies, but you have to fit. Think of what fits your style. Number one, I'm obviously very passionate about it um, and I can probably sell a little, a little bit better than some on this just because I truly believe I'm offering a better service. I'm going to negotiate the hardest price ever and if I'm that fast to give up my money, yours is up even faster because I care about me more than you, seller. I, although I do care about you, I have to care about myself first. Um, otherwise, it's not good for both of us and if I'm not going to care about myself to give up my money, trust me, yours is, our, yours is already out the window. And so these are some of the basic to me 101s that we all have to use and you guys see, I don't use this tactic, I don't use this commission strategy anymore. I'm not in real estate right now. I'm not practicing and using it daily, but you see how fast it came off my mouth. And so you can see that th these are just typical negotiation strategies. I think that you guys should be role playing with, with agents in your office on these objections. It's a great way to, to do real life negotiating. I mean, we all stopped doing this. When I got into real estate, at the team meetings, we'd all do objection handling in front of the entire office, and it was uncomfortable. And that was the, that was the whole point, because you're going to be uncomfortable in front of your seller. And I'd rather be uncomfortable in front of my colleagues at the office than uncomfortable in front of a seller and lose a 3% fat commission check. Follow me? So I think that's what I would say. That's what you have to do. I'd say, one, you need to practice your objection handling for commissions. Practice, my friend. Practice. Number two, Practice in person where you're uncomfortable. So that way, when you are in front of a seller, you are so comfortable. You, it, it, it just flows off your tongue so easily and you look confident, right? That's number two. Number three, you know, technology is only going to make the commissions go down, right? It's going to drive commissions down. It is long term, not right away, but you're going to start to see that more. And so you have to make sure you're equipped the best in order to handle those objections. And don't get afraid or be upset, guys. You're in the sales business. You're meant to sell. If you can't negotiate your own commission, you have bigger problems. Because when that negotiation comes, your seller expects you to fight your butt off to get them top dollar. And it's your fiduciary responsibility to do that. So um, I hope that helped. I hope that answered your question. We'll see. Uh, practice, my friend. Good luck.